There we go, that's a bit better. Now I've got a bit more of a selfie stick. Hey guys, how's it going? James here, Cardio etc. Um, I'm sorry it's been so long that I've since I've uploaded a video like for a car audio job or anything like that, but really it's actually just been a matter of we haven't had the workload or any particularly interesting builds lately, so I haven't really bothered filming any of them. But in light of that fact, I've decided that you know since I haven't uploaded a video in a long time, I might as well make a short one about this. Uh, it's not a huge install, it's basically just a stereo and a reversing camera. I've got a couple of interesting um, features about how we did the install more than anything that I just want to show you. So the stereo we have installed is an Alpine IVE W560A. So it's like an entry level doubled in stereo that has a screen so you can have a reversing camera and things. Um, one good, very good thing about this stereo here is for its price it's very good and also it has a built in decoder for steering wheel controls. So I, all I had to do was go into the settings and, and adjust and you know program them in and I can control the volume, I can seek up and down, oops if we go into tuner I can seek up and down and the mode button down here that works that you can skip through your sources on that so we've got Pandora, Bluetooth, Auxiliary, Tuner and then on this Hilux it does have um, some phone buttons down here that is one downside to it um, if you use the built-in decoder then there aren't a whole lot of options as to what you can program stereos to do uh, the stereo to do if you were to use an external decoder you can program pretty much anything but using the internal one um, it doesn't have functions for phone buttons so what I did instead was program these two buttons here the pick up and hang up buttons to the last two functions that you could use on this which was mute so if I push this one here it mutes it and then this one here um, it won't do anything on the radio but it acts as a play pause button so that's what I did for that but he's got his, obviously his source button, his volume button and his seek buttons and that's all you really need so th that's what we've done in this car the other thing we've done is a reversing camera which I will show you now I like how stereos these days you can access the reversing camera either by putting the car into reverse very good view there you can see the tow ball just at the very bottom in a very wide angle on the lens as well so I like how you can get to a camera either by doing that or you can just go here oops, and choose rear camera as your source so you can access it even when you're driving along and see what's behind you so now I'll uh, show you the reversing camera it's probably going to be a wee bit hard to see but I have taken some close up photos which I will insert for you guys to see so it's just a nice wedge mount camera these cameras are really cool you can mount them on, a, on the underside of a flat surface or on a vertical surface um, one thing we did have to account for is there was a slight angle here on this surface here. So what Grant actually did, if you can see there, he's made this wedge which goes in behind the camera. He made that out of builder's bog, and which is really good, it's waterproof, um, it's sandable, it's paintable. So we, as you can see we've painted it black. So he just used the builder's bog, made the shape and then sanded it at all the right uh, angles and everything like that and painted it black and mounted the camera on there and it works really good so it gets a nice wide angle of everything that's behind the car something else related to the install that I did was um, for the cable running uh, a lot of utes and things like that you know you pretty much always have to run the cable down out of the car underneath and along what I did manage to do uh, was well I don't know if I'll be able to show you just because it's really dark down there but I actually managed to get the cable for it to go into the chassis rail, the big thick rail that supports the car, and run along the inside of it all the way to the back where it just pops out. Um, so that means I didn't have to do any cable tying or anything like that, it's all completely hidden away. I'll see if I can show you, one second. Okay, it's going to be hard to see, so I'm just below the passenger's door here, and if I bring you guys under, okay, so there's like the bonnet, the front of the car, and this is right under the passenger seat, there's this grommet here which the main loom comes out of and then here's my loom for the reversing camera so it just comes out in conduit and then it goes actually inside this big 
thick chassis rail which runs the whole length of the car. And it runs inside and all the way down the inside of this rail to the back of the car so it's not in the way of any wiring or wheels or moving parts or anything. It runs along the inside of that rail. Here's the spare tire and then there it is, it just pops out the end of the rail there. Goes up to the factory loom and then if I open this up and then the wire just goes inside the factory conduit here and into where the camera connects. So that's how we do reversing cameras professionally. The cable is all hidden away, completely protected by conduit. Yeah, nothing can get pinched, nothing can get yanked on. Everything's secured with cable ties. And that's pretty much the gist of it guys. Like I say, I just wanted to make this video uh, in light of the fact that I feel like I've been neglecting the channel a wee bit and haven't uploaded in a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video or you're impressed with the um, installation method, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy car audio and this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I am like, even though it's been a while, I do want to try and get more videos up as many times as I possibly can. Um, come the new year, I'm going to start a new season of car audio, etc. And what I think I'll probably do then, once I've started a new season, is I will upload videos about just about ev anything and everything. Like this season, what I've been kind of focusing on is just the really interesting jobs or the really big sound systems. But the next season, I'm going to try and upload as many videos as I can following just minor things. You know, today we installed a stereo into this car, here's what it looks like. That sort of thing. If that sounds like a good idea to you guys, let me know in the comments. Um, if you really don't want to see that boring, that well not boring, if you don't want to see, you know, the more basic stuff but only and want to keep sticking with, you know, the big impressive uh, sound systems and things like that, also let me know in the comments so I know what you guys want. But other than that guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you're having a good day and yeah, cheers for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.